Well, I'll tell you what, what a l fantastic last week of winter we have in store for us here. Yes, spring officially arrives next Tuesday at 1.14 in the morning, but it's going to feel more like summer, almost a summertime-like pattern as we go on through the majority of this week. Here's what I'm tracking, warm and quiet conditions for us here in eastern Carolina. Now, all the action is basically going to be along the west coast. They could be looking at record snowfall in the Rockies, mudslides potentially by the time we hit the end of this week in California, record warmth across the northern plains that will eventually work its way into our neighborhood. Unfortunately, though, the way the upper level pattern is set up, very little rainfall in store for us. No real threats to alert you to with our Storm Track 12 threat tracker. Nothing more than maybe an isolated thunder shower around for the day tomorrow. So we're going to keep the threat tracker in the green category. Nothing more than some high mid-level clouds building in for this afternoon is your Storm Track 12 forecast. Upper 60s, low 70s. That's about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Or even at the beaches, I think, mid to upper 60s. Now, clouds roll in overnight tonight, but on the warm side as a result of that, and light southwesterly wind, so we won't have any patchy light fog for tomorrow morning like we are dealing with this morning. Temps into the upper 50s maybe in some spots would not be completely out of the question. Very cloudy skies for tomorrow. Some scattered thunder showers will be around, and we'll start to clear things out late in the afternoon. I think probably two rounds of showers, one in the early morning around sunrise, and maybe the second one late morning going into the early afternoon hours. And temperatures, in spite of the cloud cover, very similar to where we are today. This is what we're looking at here. And notice the clouds try to make their way inbound here for us today, and they're just kind of evaporating for the morning hours here. Reason for that is we do have a high pressure that is centered off of the coast, about 200 miles due east of Hatteras. Meanwhile, the cold front coming in is kind of getting stretched apart. And you can see the upper level low going through Kansas City, headed up towards Minneapolis with the cold front extended away from that. A deep, rich feed of moisture coming in off of the Gulf of Mexico, but that's too far away from us to really have much of an impact. And then after that, notice the weather pattern really gets quiet as we head on through the Four Corners region and in, 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 even into West Texas. Now, you will notice the storm system coming in there across the Pacific Northwest. That's number one of potentially three storms that will be affecting them this week. And again, while everything's going to be nice for us here in the east, it's not going to be so nice for them out in the western portions of the United States. Here's part of the reason why is we take a look at the jet stream model. The forecast showing you that a big upper level ridge is going to develop over the southeast United States here. In fact, you can see that ridge poking its nose in there right now as we speak with the ridge axis just off towards our west. That's what is basically preventing those high clouds from coming in. Here's that upper level low sitting and spinning back here. And then watch as we go on through this week how we take a look. The ridge kind of beats itself down again. But then notice almost from the U.S. Canadian border all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, this upper level ridge is going to reestablish itself here. And as a result, that's going to allow the warmth from the northern plains that they're going to be experiencing near record high temperatures through the weekend and the first part of this week to eventually come down from the north. So normally we're used to cold air coming in from the north. This time it's going to be warm air coming in on those northwesterly winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere and really starting to warm us up here. We do have a chance of potentially the sunshine on Thursday to be near 80 degrees. And then you'll notice even as we go on through the second half of the week, we still kind of keep this semi-permanent upper level ridge sitting back here with some weak disturbances coming through in the jet stream. You may see a front try to make its way in here, but nothing of real consequence other than maybe some scattered showers as we go in through the forecast. Here's what I'm talking about as far as that warmth is concerned now. Take a look. Notice all the warmth across the northern plains. 70s near 80 degrees in Pierre and, and 60s in Minnesota. That comes in on northerly winds as the whole system with the upper level ridge tracks eastbound. And notice that surge of warmer air gets us into the upper 70s by the time we hit Wednesday, flirting with 80 degrees in here on Thursday, and then still rather warm as we go on through the second half of the week. With again, a, a cold front eventually coming in here to kind of cool us down a little bit for the weekend. But it so in and out pattern with as far as the cool is concerned, we quickly rebound back in the temperatures that are going to be above normal for next week as well. So a nice week and a half, two week stretch of weather here. Just unfortunately, not a whole lot of rainfall coming our way. This is what Futurecast shows as far as the winds are concerned. South southwesterly for later on this afternoon. Showers 
in here, probably around sunrise tomorrow morning with the first batch, and then the main front itself kind of hangs back until later in the afternoon hours, and as that presses eastbound here, we are going to see another line of some scattered showers and maybe, again, an embedded thunderstorm with that. That makes its way off the coast, and then a high pressure slides in from the north, giving us sunny Warm conditions. We've got the golden ice on the forecast for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, Thursday with a good deal of sunshine around. We may flirt with that 80-degree mark. And again, it's going to be record-setting heat across not only the northern plains that's going to be working its way eastbound, but also the potential for some serious weather along the west coast of the United States. In fact, some spots could be looking at a year's worth of rainfall coming down in Southern California by the time we hit early next week. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.